Hey Shining Stars, welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Midnight Moon and today we're getting into our Ipsy Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus for the month of December. Today we'll be unboxing both bags as well as doing a makeup tutorial and trying on the products and giving my first review and impressions of them. If you guys wanna see any of that, just make sure you keep on watching. If you're not a part of my Galaxy Glam Squad yet, then what are you waiting for? Please subscribe down below. Also hit the bell and make sure you don't miss out on future videos. Without further ado, let's jump right on it. Don't give us the paparazzi, baby. You know they always trying to get me. A million dollars at the nice seat. Before we get started, I do just want to say that I try to be as transparent as possible on this channel. So if you guys are interested in disclaimers and how I receive the products, all that will be mentioned in the description box below. If you guys are also interested in timestamps, product links, product mentions, and other ways to connect with me, then that will also be down in the description box below. So make sure you check it out. If you guys are new or aren't familiar with Ipsy, Ipsy is a monthly beauty bag subscription. There are three subscriptions to choose from, one being a quarterly bag, which is the Glam Bag X. Then there is also the Glam Bag and the Glam Bag Plus. In the Glam Bag, it retails for $13 a month. You get five sample to deluxe size products and occasionally you might get a full size product so do keep that in mind then you have the glam bag which comes with five full size products and it retails for about 28 dollars a month there are also some additional taxes and fees so do keep that in mind each month there's a theme and you get a different bag so you'll always have like a little travel friendly bag to take with you um, to keep your products in or anything you pretty much want to use them for so now that we've talked about what ipsy is let's get into our unboxings for december before we get started i do want to say happy holidays merry christmas happy new year all the good vibes um it is my birthday month so i'm excited my birthday's on the 14th so this video might be out around that time i don't really remember but probably will be out around that time um, I'm so excited. I'll be 26 this year and I'm really not sure what I'm doing yet, but we will see, I guess. It's Sagittarius season. You know I had to say it. Sagittarius is holla at me. Let me know your birthday. Now that we're super excited about Sag season, let's get into these bags. So as always, we'll be unboxing each of the bags and seeing what we got for the variation this month. And then we'll be doing our makeup tutorial and first impressions reviews. So we have our theme of the month right here and our theme is, oh, what fun. Let the celebrations begin. We're throwing a month long holiday party to bring you all the good cheer and glam beauty. So swipe on a bright lip, slip on your dancing shoes and get ready to re revel in the most wonderful time of the year. So this is what our card looks like. As RSVP, yes, to glimmery eyeshadow and merry manicures. Between all the office parties, family get-togethers, and white elephant potlucks, now is the time to bring out your most festive looks. Whether you're celebrating virtually or IRL, we want to see your best holiday glam. First bag we're getting into is the glam bag, which is the one that's $13 a month and comes with five sample to deluxe size products, the occasional full size products. So let's go ahead and unbox this. This is the bag of the month. I love it. I love like the fluffiness of it. Like it's a really soft fabric. I'm not sure what type of fabric but this just feels so soft. I do have to say though, if you get makeup on it, you probably will have to wash it um, or use a wipey and take off any makeup that's on it. But um, I do love the bag for this month. It's so nice and fuzzy and cozy, winter vibes. The first product we got is this baby and this is a full size product. This is the Sophia and Mabel Lip Slick Lip Oil. I did actually get this in a glam bag i think it was last month but we did get a different shade this is the shade watermelon and i did really like this so i'm excited to use it lip oils are like the best thing in the world for winter my lips have been chapped lately like super chapped they're chapped right now so if you guys see it don't say anything i might have just like pushed it out there but oh well the next product we have is the first aid beauty ultra repair firming collagen cream safe for sensitive skin this is what it looks like and you can use this am and pm use alone or over a serum dermatologist tested no artificial fragrance then we have the biro new york tea time rose tea eye cream which looks like this 
And this is made to brighten, depuff, and firm. It's also cruelty free and vegan. This product in our bag, another sample size product. We have the Milk Makeup Rise Mascara. It looks like this. This mascara is meant to lift, lengthen, and volumize. So we're gonna go ahead and try it. It's also vegan and cruelty-free. Last product in our glam bag is another full-size product. This is the Luna Magic Beauty Lip Liner in shade Besitos. This is what it looks like. Now jumping into our glam bag. Our glam bag is the $28 a month beauty subscription with five full-size products. This is the bag of the month. Nice chic red and pink going on. We got the hooray words on it. So yeah, let me know what y'all think about this. And of course the gold drawstring for the holidays. Now my products didn't all fit in here because we had one huge box. So the first product that we got in our glam bag plus is the Kat Berkey Vitamin C Intensive Face Cream. It looks like this. I'll actually be giving this away because I do have one of these already from a BoxyCharm subscription. I haven't opened it yet. So I'm definitely gonna be giving this away. So stay tuned. Yeah, most likely on Instagram, I will probably also be posting it here so you guys can get the info. Uh, but just make sure you stay tuned. This is how the actual product looks. It's very luxury-like. And if I can remember correctly, I think this is like a 60 something dollar cream. It may be a little bit more. Then we have the Patchology Serve Chilled Rose Sheet Mask. It comes with four masks and there's strawberry extract, resveratrol and hyaluronic acid. The resveratrol does come from grapes. The strawberry extract helps protect from environmental stressors, which can lead to early signs of aging and hyaluronic acid for a mega dose of hydration. You can actually store these in the fridge. It's suggested to give that very cooling effect. And of course, drink a little glass of rosé while you're at it. I love a good sheet mask, so I can't wait to try these. Third product we have in our Glam Bag Plus is the Tarte Cosmetics Shadow and Liner Quick Stick. It's a waterproof shadow and liner. This is in the shade Rose Gold and Luster Brown. Uh, we do have a palette in our glam bag, so I probably won't be using the shadow side, but this is how it looks. And then this is the actual uh, pen shadow stick. If you guys missed it, we did a Tarte X Boxy Charm Premium unboxing a while back. I'll have it listed up here as a card and in the description box below in case you guys are interested and want to check that out. And we did get there. It was a duo pencil like this. It had a brightener side and a winged liner side. And I absolutely love that. So I can't wait to try this. Like I said, I won't be using the shadow part of it, which is this part right here. And then this is the shade. We'll be using the liner side, which is this one right here. Also, this is a three in one primer, shadow and liner. It's perfect for no makeup days and glam nights. And again, it's waterproof and cruelty free. Fourth product in our glam bag plus are these. This is the MOTD Cosmetics makeup brushes. They are dual ended brushes. So one's a blush and highlight brush and one's a contour and blend brush. I actually forgot I got these because I did check out the bag beforehand to see what I could use. And I don't know if you can use these with cream products, but I originally was and I forgot and I put my contour on already. So I will be using these with my contour powder and I didn't do blush or highlight yet. So of course we're gonna be using the brush for that, for that. Um, but this is how they look. They're so pretty, very chromatic, especially this blue. Y'all know I, I go hard for blues and purples and galaxy vibes for me, baby. This is the blush and highlight. It says it right on the thing, which is something I personally like because I can't stand brushes that don't come with what it's actually supposed to be for, like what it says. Sometimes I get confused with my brushes. I'm not a licensed makeup artist or anything like that, so I really don't know what certain brushes are used for but I use them how I feel is suited for me and what I like. So keep that in mind. You don't have to use certain brushes for certain things. Using the right brushes will help for a better application and all that good stuff. But if you feel like something works better than something else, then go ahead and use it. And then the blue one is the contour and blending brush. 
Now I do have to say off bat, they feel very, very, very soft. Super soft. Like I could sleep on this. Like it's my little pillow. Good night. I love getting brushes. I have so many of them but I still love getting them. And then our last product, which I'm really excited for as well, is the Ciate London, the Velvet Palette. This is a 12 pan palette, and you guys just gotta see it. I'm gonna open it up for you. The shades in here are metallics and mattes. Now this is what the actual packaging looks like. I love that they have like this matte feel to the front. It's like a rubbery kind of matte feel. And then it's like this chromatic back. And here's the shades for you guys. I love the color story in this. It's so pretty. And then there also are some like wet looking shadows. If you guys know what I'm saying. Like these two to me look like wet looking shadows. Like they give that really intense shine. And I love the engravings on each one of them. Like it's just it's a gorgeous palette i can't wait to put it to the test and see how it works i did get a ciate london palette i think it was in my boxy charm a while back and it was the spice palette i did enjoy the palette but i ended up giving it away because i was like i just felt like it was a little too basic for me i have so many palettes so that palette was just like eh for me like it worked great it was a very nice so now palette. that we've unbagged our bags we're gonna get into our makeup tutorial and try on. I did go ahead and set my base off camera. For that, I used the Kiss Pro New York Pro Touch Full Cover Concealer in the shade 310 Sun Beige. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump into our Ciate London The Velvet Palette. The first shade I'm gonna go into is this one right here. We're gonna use that for our transition shade. We're gonna bring it right on the outer V as well. Next color we're going to take is this brownish matte shade. This was the color underneath the one we just used. And we're going to use that right over the transition shade to deepen everything out. We're not going to bring it all the way up. Now we're going to jump back into the first transition shade we used. And we're going to use that to basically soften out the top of the brow bone. But we're not going to go all the way up because we are going to use a lighter shade. Now to finish off right in between the brow bone, that space right there, we're going to use this shade right here. I'm going to add a little bit of concealer right here on the lid, but we're not going to bring it all the way out. We're going to bring it to right about there. So that way our shimmer can really pop and get the color we want. Now for our shimmer shade, I'm jumping into a new brush. And we're gonna use this wet looking one right here. We're gonna lay that literally all over the concealer we just laid down. Now I'm gonna jump into the first two transition shades we used, which were these two right here. And we're gonna use that to deepen out the outer V to blend out that very pretty shimmery color we just used. With the same brush and the same two shades, we're gonna go ahead and smoke out the bottom lash line. Now for the last shade, we're gonna go ahead and brighten up the inner corner. We're gonna use this very pretty pink shade. So this is how our eye look turned out. Of course, we're gonna add the mascara, some liner and all that good stuff, but this is the shadow portion of it. I absolutely love this palette. It's definitely one that I'm keeping in my collection. It has a beautiful range of shades and I still am obsessed with the engravings in it. Like I know I'm probably not gonna wanna touch it because of those engravings, but I am. I love how the look was created. The pigments are very pigmented, easily blendable, 
and it's just i really like this palette it's just a gorgeous palette especially those really like wet looking colors it's just it's making everything pop and glow and i'm here for it all so now the next product we're going to jump into from our glam bag plus is the tarte cosmetics quick stick again this is the shadow and liner stick we're only going to be using the liner side which is in the shade brown and we're going to use it for our waterline This is how it looks. I like the pigment, very creamy and goes on very easily. So before we jump into our mascara, I am gonna go ahead and do liner off camera. Since we don't have any liner products, I'm gonna be using my own. And I'm also gonna be curling my lashes. For the liner, I'm gonna be using the Ruby Kisses color liner in black. Liner and curling are done. Now we're gonna get into our mascara. Again, we're using the Milk Makeup Rise Mascara from our Glam Bag. This is how the wand looks. It has like a curved wand. <coughs> so this is how the one side looks with mascara, top and bottom. I do like the amount of length it gives. It definitely is lengthening. And it adds a little bit of lift, not too much, but just enough. Honestly, it's making it look like I kind of have that siren eye look. I really like this mascara. I will be using it more. Um, it does add a little bit of volume, but not as much as I've seen with a lot of volumizing mascaras. But this is more of like a 3-on-1 mascara, so that could be why it does a little bit of everything. Um, but so far, I really like so it. So our eyes are pretty much done. This is how the mascara looks on both sides. I love it. We're going to jump into our MOTD brushes now for our contour, our bronzer, and all that good stuff. First, we're going to jump into our blush and highlight brush, and we're going to use the blush side. I'm going to jump into my cream blush from Serafine Botanicals. This is the Primrose and Cream Lip and Cheek Palette. I think I'm going to go ahead and use this middle shade right here. See how this works on this fluffy brush. Brush probably is better suited for powders, but we're just gonna go ahead and try it anyway and see. I did also forget to mention and forget to just brush off any excess of the eyeshadow we had. We had a little, little bit of fallout from like the very shimmery, uh, metallic, wetter looking shades, but you can always take your powder brush and just do what I'm doing, and it takes all that stuff off. Honestly, the brush is working very well for the cream product and i am using this on top of powder usually you want to do your creams first and then your powders but this is actually working really nice on top of the airspun loose face powder that i used to set my face and it's giving like a very soft natural finish this brush it doesn't feel like my makeup is moving anywhere and I really like this brush. I'm definitely going to be using this more. I love, 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 love how it's applying the blush to the skin. So this is the one side with the blush and the one side without, if you guys can see the difference. Now I do want to set that a little bit. So just in case I'm going to use a powder blush, I'm using the BH Chocolate Cherry Truffle four color blush palette. Of course, we're only going to use one shade. And because it really only got on one side, I'm going to use the other side and see how this works with powder. I think I'm going to go ahead and use this shade right here. And it does look like it's working very nice. But I honestly think I like this brush better with cream. That's just a personal preference. Now I'm going to jump into our contour and blending brush of course we're not using cream so we're not going to use the blending side but we're going to use the contour side and we're going to jump into our Ofer cosmetics face it meaty palette this is in the shade medium and the contour shade we're using is san fran which is this first one right here So we're done with the contour. The contour brush actually, it is dense, so I would recommend it more for cream products, but it works really nice still, even for powders. Everything went on really smooth, and I didn't even have to use the blending side. I was thinking that I 
maybe would have but everything looks good now we're gonna go ahead and use the last side of the brush from our blush and highlight brush which is the highlight side we're gonna go into our aesthetica cosmetic starlight highlighter in the shade cosmo which is a sparkling rose gold Ooh, that is pretty and i already know this highlighter is pretty but just like the way the brush is applying it it's going on really nice and smooth and i typically don't like brushes like this for highlighter i like using fan brushes for highlighter but this is really nice really really nice and i'm gonna think i'm gonna keep using it more also just gonna add a little bit at the top and see how this looks Ooh, that is pretty, especially over that sh those couple of shades that we used for the brow bone. All right, so I've taken off most of the makeup there. We are going to use the liner from our glam bag and, of course, the lip oil from our glam bag. The Luna Magic Lip Liner in shade Besitos. And this is an automatic liner pencil, which is something I like. I don't like to sharpen too much unless I have a good sharpener. My lips are a little chat, so excuse that, but the oil should help. So there we go that's the liner i am liking the liner so far from what i noticed it goes on very creamy and really nicely pigmented and it actually dries down but it doesn't feel drying on the lips which is nice because my lips are chapped so i would definitely feel that right away it feels kind of like almost like a powder application it's not fully dry around the lip line because we did just finish that part um but I like the color and I like how it glides on super easy and does dry down so you'll know it's like really gonna stick there for a while. Now we're gonna get into our lip oil which is the last product for this look and for these bags. Again this is the Sophia and Mabel Lip Slick Fruit Lip Oil in Watermelon. And I'm going gently on the lip because I don't want to move around or take off that liner color we just used this stuff smells super super good like i'm obsessing right now i'm not a huge fan of like watermelon smells but this one smells really good so there we go it does feel like not super thick where it's gonna leave that stringy feel as you guys can tell it's not doing it but it's thick enough that I know it's going to just sit there and stay. I know it's going to give good hydration. It's going to lock in the moisture you need. And it smells so good. Again, so good. I really like this stuff. Um, Now I have two in my collection. So I'm pretty happy with it. And that was our last product. Off camera before we actually did the lips, I did also set my face uh, before we added the highlighter. So the highlighter could really pop. I feel like... Highlighter always pops a little bit better when you put setting or finishing spray on. So just so you guys know, the setting spray I used was the Shades by Shan. The setting spray. We actually got this, I believe, in our last Ipsy bag. So if you guys want to see that video, it will be listed up here as a card or in the description box. Just make sure you check it out if you're interested. But this is the final look. I love how it came out. I love that palette. Liner, again, super pigmented and dries down. So you know it's not going to really go anywhere. And just the brushes were super soft. So just a recap of what we got in our bags. In our glam bag, we got the lip liner, moisturizer, lip oil, mascara, and the eye cream. So it was like very heavy skincare based but still not bad we're in winter so it's always a good thing and then for our ipsy glam bag we got our vitamin c intensive face cream we got our motd brushes which are currently about to be washed so they're in my little can 
canister thing over here. We got the Ciate London, the Velvet Palette, the Patchology Rose Sheet Mask, pack of four. And lastly, the Tarte Cosmetics Quick Stick Shadow and Liner. Um, I have to say, as always, I love my bags. I love being able to use products that I know I'm gonna use again and again and again. And even throughout my big old collection in here, um, I still will make sure to continue to use these because they're just really nice. My official thoughts on these bags, I absolutely love them. We got a lot of great items this month. If you guys got any of these items, please let me know in the comments down below. Also, let me know even if you didn't get them in your Ipsy bags and you just went ahead and purchased them yourselves. Will you be purchasing any of these yourselves after seeing today's video? Right now, that's pretty much it. Our look is finished and set and we've gone through our bags for December. Stay tuned because we have our BoxyCharm base and boxy charm lux this month so i'm super excited for that guys if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to show your support give this video a huge thumbs up share it with friends and family comment again let me know if you like the look if you guys are interested in any of the products that i used today even ones that i didn't mention that i used for my base then just make sure you follow me on instagram at midnight moon makeup i will be posting the makeup photos close-ups and all that good stuff over there on instagram when this video goes live so make sure you check that out if you guys are not a part of my galaxy glam squad yet then please subscribe down below also hit the bell so you don't miss out on future uploads because we do do these ipsy bags every month and with that being said you guys keep on being the beautifully awesome shining stars you are and i'll see you in my next video Later, babes.